Hey guys, welcome to your channel. In this video, we'll learn about Twilio WhatsApp chatbot. So first thing that we should do is we have to open any of our web browser and then using the search bar at the top, we just have to search for Twilio. Okay, so let me just type it right here, Twilio. And you'd be able to see this first website. So you just have to simply click on this one and you'd be directed to this page. Okay, so let me just click on this one. Then right here, before we start creating our account, let me show you the pricing first. Okay, so when you click on the pricing option right here, as you can see under the communications, we have here messaging and we have SMS, WhatsApp, and conversations. So you just have to simply click on the see all pricing option. Okay, and then right here, you can start for free, then pay as you go. So you just have to sign up for a free trial. No credit card required. Pay as you go with usage-based pricing. Unlock volume discounts as you scale. And then right here, under the alerts and notifications, the first one is we have SMS. To send and receive SMS and MMS messages starts at this rate to send or receive a message. And right here, we have the WhatsApp Business API. So we'll be using this one. You can send and receive WhatsApp messages. Start at this price. To send or receive a WhatsApp message, prices vary by the use case. So what do you mean uh, the prices vary by the use case? So let me just click on this view WhatsApp pricing first. Okay, so the WhatsApp Business API pricing. So right here, we can estimate our WhatsApp cost. So WhatsApp pricing is calculated based on the Meta's conversations based pricing fees and Twilio's per message fee. The Meta conversations based pricing fee varies by the use case and is charged in 24-hour increments that start when the first message from a business is delivered. So the number of messages vary by the conversations. So here we just have to select the country. Okay, and the next one right here at the right side, we have the utility conversation. So for the number of conversations, see for example, we have 1,000 or 2,000 number of conversations. As you can see right here, the price that we have to pay is $8. And for the total number of messages, see for example, we have 2,000 as well. So we have to pay for this one. So the, um, the pricing for the WhatsApp API is not fixed. It will vary to our conversation. So now let us start for free. And then right here, we just have to simply type out our first name, our last name, email address, password. And then after that, just have to simply check this box and click on continue. And of course, you can also sign up with Google. Then after signing up or creating your account, it'd be directed to your account dashboard. And for step number one is we have to get a Twilio phone number, okay? So right here, you'd be able to see this step. And when you scroll down, you'll be able to see here an option where you can click on so you can get your Twilio phone number. So I already have mine. And when you scroll down again, you'd be able to see here our Twilio phone number. So we will use this later on. So next thing that we should do is we just have to simply click on the messaging option right here. And when we click the overview, we'd be able to see this try SMS and try WhatsApp. Okay, so this is the messaging overview. We can send and receive messages at scale with messaging APIs. And of course, you can also access that one right here on the explore products. So when you click on explore products, and you'll be able to see here the programmable communications. So you just have to explore the products. As you can see, we have here the messaging, video, chat, and conversations. So all we have to do is to simply click on the messaging. So when we click on this one, we'd be directed to the messaging overview. Okay, and then after that, we just have to simply click on try WhatsApp. And then just wait for a couple of seconds. Then here we have to activate our sandbox first so to do that you just have to simply check this box right here and click on confirm okay then after that you just have to wait for a couple of seconds and you'd be directed to this page so let me just wait for a couple of seconds and right here try whatsapp so twilio sandbox for whatsapp lets you test your app in a developer environment without whatsapp approval for your account okay so first thing that we should do is we have to connect to whatsapp sandbox so to begin testing connect to 
the Twilio Sandbox by sending a WhatsApp message from your device to the Twilio number. So you just have to follow this guide, send a WhatsApp message to so use the WhatsApp and send a message from your device to this number. So you just have to open your WhatsApp and then try sending a message to this phone number. You can also scan the QR code on mobile. So as you can see right here, you just have to follow this guide and then you just have to type out join construction dash sort. And after that, now the sandbox can now send receive messages from WhatsApp and then reply tap to leave the sandbox anytime. Okay, so after that, you'd be directed to the business initiated message. So you can send a business initiated message right here. So right here, you just have to choose your, um, of course, the WhatsApp number. So just type out right here. And after that, just type out right here if where this message came from. And then your message template. We have here appointment reminders, order notifications, or verification codes. And then after that, you will then just have to type out right here your message. For example, your appointment is coming up on July 21st at 5 p.m. Then after that, just simply click on send this yeah. message. Okay. Then as you can see right here, if we are to open our WhatsApp, we have received the message. Okay. So here for the appointment reminders, is this is a template. We have here a buttons. So we have confirm or cancel. So if we are to go back to our Twilio account. Okay. So let me just close this WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. as you can see we have successfully sent a message and right here for the um, codes we have here java ruby php python and more then after that for the next step okay so we just have to simply click on the next step option at the top okay so this one right here at the right side just remember that you don't have to have a knowledge about coding in order for you to use twilio Okay, so let me just click on next step. Then for the user-initiated conversation, you can now start a user-initiated conversation right here. So just have to wait for the message from our WhatsApp. So let me just open my WhatsApp and try to send a random message. And we would be able to see that over here. Okay, so let me just type out a message. And as you can see, we have received a message okay and here you will then just have to type out your reply and then after that right here is to visit the document so here you just have to register your own whatsapp sender create and submit your own whatsapp template and then after learning these things you can now use twilio so that's it for this video if you think this video helped you solve your concern please subscribe like this video and leave your comment below bye